Hello and welcome to the highlights from the 10th National Leagues. Plenty of action to catch up from over the weekend with titles awarded, relegation sealed and some big results in the teams vying for promotion. To start with though, we're in 10th National 1 where it was first against third as Bigger took on Gala. The home side took a well-deserved lead with a brilliant move. They worked the ball through the hands before powering over in the corner with a lung-busting run. Gala then got themselves on the scoreboard with this good penalty from Craig Dodds. The visitors then went ahead. Jack Eason was on the bottom of this driving mall to score. Bigger then retook the lead with their second try of the day. They shrugged off a few Gala defenders before touching down next to the post. Good. But their lead didn't last long and Gala went ahead. Craig Dodd spoke through the defence and touched down under the post. He converted his own try to give Gala a slender 15-14 lead at the break. In a game of swings and roundabouts, Bigger started off for the second half the better side. A brilliant pass freed up space out wide for the home side to score. Gala responded quickly, however, the ball was worked from the left-hand side over to the right and Liam Scott did well to finish in the corner. Gala added their fourth try of the day through Fergus Johnson. A clever step and brilliant effort from Johnson put some breathing space between the two sides. Bigger did score an important try towards the end of the match which secured them two bonus points. But it wasn't enough and Gala took a big step towards their challenge for the title. Elsewhere in 10th National 1, there were five other matches. On Friday night, Ayr trounced Cartha at Millbrae. The West Coast side ran in 64 points under the lights, heightening the pressure on Cartha, who need four points from three matches to secure their safety in the division. There was a huge game at Golden Acre for very different reasons. Watsonians pushed their Edinburgh rivals hard, but in the end they came up short and Harriets kept their title challenge alive. It was a close encounter in Dundee who narrowly squeezed past an already relegated Burmuir side. And Highland got the better of Stirling in Inverness with a convincing bonus point victory. And in the borders, Melrose got the better of Kelso at the Green Yards, getting revenge on their local rivals after losing the reverse fixture earlier in the season. So with two games to go for the teams at the top, it's still all to play for. Gala's win at Bigger keeps them in top spot, two points clear of Harriet's in second. Bigger have dropped slightly and are now five points off Harriet's. Elsewhere at the bottom of the table, Watsonians couldn't end their season with a win and will face an agonising wait to determine their fate. Cardiff have three games left to pick up four points to secure their safety. They are in action next week and could complete the job if they beat Highland on Saturday. The following Saturday, however, there are five games to look forward to and all eyes will be in Gala Shields as the top two face off.
Intense National 2 GHK finally got their hands on the National 2 Championship at the weekend. They beat Dumfries Saints to wrap up the title. It's all to play for in the race for the last promotion spot, however. With Saints losing, Stuart's Melville could not capitalise and they fell to a heavy defeat to Hamilton. Preston Lodge could only muster a draw with Gordonians as their promotion push stalled at the weekend. In the final few fixtures, Dumfries have one game left while the teams from the East both have two. They take on Kirkcaldy next week while Preston Lodge face Hamilton and Stuart's Melville host Glasgow Ackies. Intense National 3 champions last Wade couldn't end their season on a high as they lost to Berwick who are still in a fight for a promotion. Howard 5 currently sit in that promotion spot but they'll be looking closely over their shoulder over the next few weeks as Berwick have three games in hand on them. Berwick start with two trips to Perthshire and Greenock before hosting Murrayfield Wanderers at Screamerston. So after the weekend's results, there's only one championship still to play for, and that is the 10th National One Trophy. All eyes will be at Netherdale, where Gala hosts Heritage in what could be a winner-takes-all clash. We'll bring you highlights on that in a couple of weeks' time, and we hope to see you then.